and scream. Weapons are back. It's more like a big ball of wibbly wobbly, tiny whiny stuff. Open a channel. All vipers, break, break, break! Impossible to see the future. This is the emergency holographic doctor speaking. Who is the energy talking? Helmsman laid a new course. Watch how I saw it. Now, it's gone completely. Engage. How did I select the Mike Friend channel? <laughs> Whoopsie. Okay, hello and welcome to this special edition of the Safe Sci-Fi Podcast. I'm your host, David, and joining me today is the one and only Stuart. I am... I don't really think I can say half away for this. So. Yeah. Well, we've been awake for the better part of 24 hours at this point. As you can tell, I handle 3 o'clock in the morning way better than Stuart does. Mind you, he's been awake for the better part of 50-something hours, so... Yeah. Yeah, it's more of a him issue. Um, so, we just got out from watching Star Wars The Force Awakens. And damn, was that a ride. Oh, well, Harrison did say it was a ride, but that was yeah beautiful. So, first off, we'll do the really, really brief, spoiler-free review for those out there who don't like, like spoilers. And then we'll get into the spoilers. So, spoiler-free, how would you rate that movie? See, I need to go back and... It, it's better than the prequels. It's the best movie we've had since 1983. Yeah, that's definitely true. I need to go back and watch it a few more times to, to tell where I put it on my rankings of... of, what, of, of Star Wars movies? Yeah, like... I don't, and it, it doesn't mean Empire Strikes Back, I'll admit that. No, it's, it's no Empire. It's, would... it's either two or three. Like, it's really good, though. I would actually put it below the original trilogy, but not by much. And remember, the, the original trilogy compared to the prequel trilogy is like comparing, I don't know, spectacular lasagna to whatever the hell's stuck on the bottom of my shoe. So there's <laughs> a massive void between the two which can be filled. And this fills it right at the top end of that. So... The only thing I would, the only criticism I have is it was a bit predictable. Other than that, visually it was spectacular. Like it was beautiful, it was oh, gorgeous, it's gorgeous. So um, that, that's going to win a lot of awards. Yeah. So I would give it, I don't know, eight out of ten. Yeah, I'd be happy with that. Happy with that? Eight out of ten. Okay, so. If you don't want spoilers, now is when you switch it off. Yes, I know it's a very short podcast, literally three minutes. But, yeah, spoilers are coming. So That's a good grab, Michael. <laughs> now that they have naked... <laughs> yeah. Even on. EJ's no. on. EJ's on? He, he's yeah. on Skype. He knows, he knows better than to jump into this call. He really does. <laughs> um, so, anyway. Uh, so, spoilerful. Let's start at the very beginning of the movie and where we... And where it picks off. Picked off right about where we expected it to. Mm. With the attack on that village. Actually, can we even go back before that? Can we... The, can we I want to start on that... that um, that the, the crawl of text. Oh, the crawl of text. Yes, 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 yes. We watched it in 3D. Did it poke out at your face as well? Yes. Yeah. That was pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, um... The first four words said a lot. Yeah. Like, the whole core of text said a lot. Like, the first four words is, Luke Skywalker has vanished. Yeah. That, that's like, okay, this sets up an interesting story. And, and then that the that there is a Republic, and it's backing the Resistance. I'm like, oh, so they did actually make a new Republic. Yeah. So, so And the new Republic it, has a Senate, and it seems to sort of feel very similar to the old Republic, based on what they said. Um, it seems to be like a coalition yeah. of planets working together towards a greater good. So, yeah. And then they introduce um, the stormtroopers and make a joke about how they... I can't remember, was the joke about whether they're nowhere near as good as stormtroopers and they really need to sort of start doing clone... Sorry, clone troopers and they really start needing to do yeah, clone they troopers again? Yeah, they mentioned clone troopers, yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know, I'd say they're aiming... Than the than the original, yeah, yeah, they hit their they target. Actually, although I noticed, <laughs> I noticed when they're coming down the ramps, there was already a dead stormtrooper body. Yeah, 
I was like, oh, there's already one dead. Yeah. Um, that was my first, like, I was muttering to myself, so I had to keep really quiet. Yeah. Because I was yeah. taking mental notes. I was like, oh, dead store trip already. Yeah. So, um, they attack a village because of the um, ace pilot from the Rebellion is in the village and is trying to find the map data needed to find Luke. And um, he's managed to get the details off some... Who was that guy that he talked to? I have no idea. He even have a name. So, I don't know. I, I know that he'll, he'll play probably play a role in one of the other movies. One of the other. He's dead. Yeah, I know. I mean, the, 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 the movies that sort of link all these together. You know how they're doing sort of a prequel movie for different specific characters and stuff? He'll probably play... His character will probably play a role in one of those because he seemed to know what the hell was going on. He seemed to know Luke and Leia and that. But I just well, can't pull my finger out right who he was. I'm, I'm guessing it's. I'm guessing he may. He may have been a surviving member from Alderaan. Yeah. Maybe he was on Coruscant when it got blown up. Maybe. Um, then. Um, so. The it's effectively see this was my biggest issue with the movie, is it felt very much like a New Hope. Where the, the in this case the. In, in A New Hope, they're hunting the droids because the droids have got data on them that they really desperately <laughs> need. And then they stumble onto Han by sheer dumb luck and then whisk away and a planet gets blown up and they panic and they send X-Wings out after the Death Star and manage to, by sheer dumb luck, take it out. Can I and... also mention Kylo Ren is stupidly strong in the Force? Oh yeah, he stopped a fucking laser bullet, and it's and it's hold there for like that's a solid what few minutes. Yeah, I'm like holy crap. Yeah, like his and his mind, his force mind probey stuff that was pretty broken as well. Like he showed some force abilities that were just off the scale. Oh yeah. So he also chucked a, t- a few tantrum tantrums. Oh yeah, he he did the the Anakin tantrums all right. Um, he inherited that from his grandfather. Yeah. All right, let's spoil who his parents are. Oh, everyone knows who his parents are. What What about the 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 big the big spoil? <laughs> yes, the big big spoil. The big spoil. The big the spoil. Big Carlo... spoil with a big circle around it, so blatantly obvious as it's happening, you know it's going to happen. Well, and yet, there was still an audible gasp in my cinema. Oh, there wasn't a gasp in mine. Mine was actually quiet for a lot of the big reveal scenes. Yeah, I don't know who the hell was in my cinema, but there was a lot of woo and yeah. Oh, we had a few. Uh, we had a few claps and stuff for a lot of things, like so, yeah. like we clapped when Han and Chewie first came on screen. Uh, yeah, but yeah, funnily but yeah. enough, that didn't trigger a clap in my cinema. No, no, it got it got a huge one in our house, in mine. So, yeah, uh, Kylo's, Kylo Ren's parents are uh, uh, Han and Leia. Oh, yeah. Now, the question remains... Is Re- is Ray's Luke's kid? Yeah. I'm still thinking yes. Well, the Force is pretty strong in her, too. Like, it's right up there. So... And she was, as it said, she was dropped... Uh, it, uh, the, 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 when she first finds the... I'm gonna call it the other uh, baby killer. Yeah, <laughs> I was. I always love that name for for uh, Anakin's lightsaber, the baby killer. But uh, when she first finds it, she sort of has a uh, like a flashback of everything. Yeah, and remembers all these different repressed things. Like yeah, that the... lightsaber's got some pretty dark energy in it. Well, it's done a lot of dark things. Yeah, didn't murder. Didn't murder an entire Jedi Order. But the question remains: How did that? How did they get that lightsaber? That lightsaber disappeared with the the hand. The hand in the. <laughs> Which begs the question: Where's the hand? Yeah. And if Luke Skywalker regenerates, can he grow a new one? <laughs> no, he can't. <laughs> He's not the Time Lord. <laughs> so yeah, it was a good. It was the lightsaber fights were pretty good. Um. I've got to say, the Kylo Ren has a very interesting way of fighting. A lot of twirling. 
Yeah. Which I wasn't expecting for that kind of blade. No, not at all. I was um, expecting more of it to be a more of a thrust style weapon. Yeah. And the person that was doing all the thrusting was um Ray and Ray. Finn. So they were making some pre like to be perfectly blunt, for someone who's supposedly been as highly trained as he has, he should have wrecked both of them in that sword fight. In the the, the Saber duel. There were so many openings that left wide open for him that he didn't take advantage of that he really should have. I think his emotions were out of ba- were out of balance after he. Uh, oh, do we want to do the really big spoiler? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we have no more Han. Han is dead. Yeah. Harrison finally got his wish. Yeah. So Kylo, Kylo we, kills his old man. We figured that Chewie or Han were going to go down. Um. I suspected Chewie, if I remember correctly. Yeah, you said Chewie, I went Han. Yeah. Because Harris, Harrison's wanted for way too long, so... Yeah. and Well, not only that, that he's wanted for way too long, he's way too old to keep doing it. Yeah. So they've sort of got to kill him off before he actually just dies. So... So, yeah, and... It's not like he, they throw his character away. It actually has a really good sort of... Oh, the way they did it was... The way they did it was gorgeous. Oh, yeah. Like, it was really emotional. Oh, yeah. The lady three seats over for me started crying. I'm like, I didn't hear yeah, any... dial my it cinema, down. See, my cinema was silent, silent for all of it. I think a lot of people expected it. Yeah. In my cinema. So, it was it was fairly obvious what was going to happen. As soon as Leia said, you've got to confront him, I'm like, yeah, Han's dead. Hey, <laughs> bye-bye. So, yeah. Um, and it's like, he's standing like point blank to his face with a lightsaber between him. And he's like, I, I need you, your help to, to help me with something. If I was Han, I'd be like, yeah, fuck it. I'm out. Cool. I would have just shot him straight there and there. Oh yeah. I just, just would have been gone. He had a free hand. Why didn't Han shoot first? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I guess that means his journey to the dark side is complete. I, I'm not so sure. Hey, he got pretty fucked up. Yeah. Not Vader level fucked up, but still. And god damn, doesn't he worship Vader? At least he refers to him as grandfather. Which is even weirder. Well, he is. Oh, I know he is. I know he is. I'm not disagreeing with that. I'm just saying it just feels weird. I was going to say, I love Snoke's character design. Oh, yeah. That was... Because there's always there's a lot of speculation that he may have been Darth Plagueis. Yeah. He's clearly not. It's not even the right species for Plagueis. Exactly. He's, but, he's, uh, he's um, evil Gollum. <laughs> like he's Darth Gollum. As also, soon as I saw he... him, I'm like, oh look, it's Darth Gollum or Darth Dobby. Also, if his character like in the movie is actually that big, have fun taking that down. Yeah, I very highly doubt the character's that big. How often did the, the Emperor project himself yeah. substantially larger than he Which really I, was? Which I love that throwback too, that they did that yeah. for sort of Vader Emperor... Emperor um, hologram yeah so when i first sort of like is that a hologram or is that motherfucker huge yeah i wasn't sure either and then it did the hologram i was like oh it was a hologram because it looked like he was like the size of thanos yeah i, I was know, like it's... oh like my first thought was holy have fun with that folks <laughs> yeah it's like yeah you, you think a little guy with force with uber force powers is broken try a big guy with uber force powers so yeah um, I like, I really actually, um, I really like Mass Kanata. Yeah. That was really, like, that was really cool, and the, the, uh, the, uh, magnifying goggles. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I've seen a lot of people in my years, and I know what your eyes are like. You want to run away. <laughs> and then she goes downstairs and finds the thing. Um, yeah. And then we have this epic battle scene on that planet. Oh, yeah. You see, you hear the music shift. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's another thing. The the score for everything was oh, good. Yeah. Spot on. John, John Williams, you are a freaking god. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how he does it. Yeah. You so that the music shifts. You see the stormtroopers, they're like, something ain't right here. And then you hear them call out that they're coming. You look over the ocean, you just see the, the X-Wings coming in at full speed, just... Oh, that was beautiful, that shot. Those fight scenes were spectacular. 
Like the the battles in atmosphere in that scene, you could see that in atmosphere, the X Wing is a far superior fighter to the Tie. Yeah, but in they space, got absolutely the... wrecked. In space, on the other hand, it's almost the opposite. The Tie is a substantially better unit than the X Wing, mm. and that makes sense based on the way that they're, that they're designed the, and their yeah, shape. Yeah, the slipstream and stuff. So, but yeah, it was. Yeah. Yeah, no, it was just oh, it was so awesome hearing the sa- the sounds. Oh yeah. Now let's move on to the super weapon. <laughs> the Star Killer base. Yeah. That was ew. That made the Death Star look like an Olympic kiddie pool. Yeah, it was. Let's fire. It's almost sort of the ultimate Death Star level destruction capabilities. It absorbs an entire sun. Which I was so not expecting. Yeah. I was thinking, how are they powering this thing? And then I saw it sort of resolve and I'm like, well, that'll oh, do it. Oh, God. That'll do it. <laughs> um, so it effectively does a, the des- a density style absorption, but on an epic scale. Mm. Sucks the whole sun inside the planet inside um, some sort of energy storage and compression unit. And then fires what is effectively a beam almost the size of the Death Star in diameter, which as it continues out into space, slowly but surely breaks up into multiple separate beams, allowing it to wipe out an entire star system in a single hit. And the only response I have to that is, damn. So I'm guessing that that was Coruscant getting destroyed. I don't know if that was Coruscant. Yeah, I'm not sure either. It just seemed like a mysterious planet. My thought was Coruscant because that's where the Republic is based. It it looked like it looked like Starfleet headquarters to me. <laughs> that that's actually not necessarily a joke. That was my first thought when I saw it. <laughs> but yeah, I wonder what the other planets that were wiped out were. Yeah, and I just find it amusing you could see it from the planet that they are on. Oh, that was cool. That was a throwback to um episode six when they blew up the Death Star. You could see the explosion from the planet. Yeah, I, I, I'm well aware, but... Yeah. Uh-huh. Also, could I just say, uh, the the Stormtrooper with the Electra stuff, totally cool that it was a blaster modification. Yeah. And it also sort of explained how he had hand-to-hand combat training. Yeah. So. <laughs> so, yeah. Um... Oh man, it's just so much. My brain is still processing. Yeah, there's a there is a lot in that movie. So, at some points it did feel a tad slow. At other points it felt a tad forced, and it, it it's it's far from the perfect movie. Put it that way. Oh yeah, no, no, there are there are flaws. It, it's not it's not it's the most amazing movie ever. It's, there are flaws to it, but it's exactly. It's, it's definitely not prequels or material. Yeah, but it, it, one of the things it does touch on is that the stormtroopers are effectively kidnapped as kids. Yeah, that was trippy. Spartan style. And then brainwashed from the earliest age possible into being sort of stormtroopers. Yeah, that was... And eventually, if they can sort of deprogram themselves, lack of a better way of putting it, and that's effectively what Finn did. So... Yeah, that was pretty but cool. To be fair, he was working san- sanitation, so I don't think he was trained very well. Well, see, that was another thing. If he was working sanitation, how the hell do you go from sanitation to frontline shock and all trauma? <laughs> I don't know. So, did they just sort of walk down a hallway and say, all of you guys, come with us, we're going to raid a planet? Or is there sort of a random number generator that sort of does the thing? It's like, it's like we need the best of the best, and the random number generator is giving us these guys. Good enough. So, and the fact that his name isn't actually Finn. Yeah, it was a FN two something something something. Can't yeah, remember the whole. Thing. Yeah, because but because it was. It had an F and N and a one in it. They just went with. They said, well, "I'm just gonna call you Finn." He's like, "Okay, whatever." Oh, I want to um mention with Kylo. Yeah. Did you notice what Han called out to him? He used his real name. Yeah. Ben. Ben. Do you? And I know why that. I know why that's significant. 
Okay. Ben Kenobi. Oh, no shit, Sherlock. <laughs> well, no, because here's the thing. In the in the what is now the Legend series, Luke has a son and names it Ben. Yeah. So they took Ben out and made it Kylo. They took Ben out and made Kylo Ren. Yeah, which is what makes me think the girl is his daughter. But if that's the case, who's the mother? I don't know. But uh. Ray, I was trying to give a name. A name is yeah, Ray. yeah, Ray. Yeah. I, I'm allowed to sort of mental blank. I've been. Away I, f- for I figured a while. you were talking about Ray. Yeah. Um. So and then right. Uh, and then after all the crazy shenanigans that happens, the the fight scene where um, he gets inside the base with the X-Wing, oh, that was so Battlestar Galactica. <laughs> it's like, I'm watching that, I'm like, yeah, no, it's Battlestar Galactica. I'm not sorry, I, I know that Star Wars inspired Battlestar Galactica in a lot of ways, but that's a clear case of it going the other way. <laughs> <laughs> so... I just love the 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 um when I mentioned it, it's like so how did you so how do you know how did you end up working here sanitation house is like sanitation the galaxy is depending on you like, I love the, that they had the comedy aspects of it oh yeah exactly even Chewie was having fun with it yeah and Chewie got shot really early on I was like Chewie He's like no I saw Chewie get shot and I'm like yeah Han's gonna die. <laughs> would have been brutal if they killed Chewie off the beginning and then they killed Han off at the end how devastating would that be oh yeah I don't think anyone will have saw that coming yeah and the only way that could have been worse is if they get to like how big was that fucking island thing they landed on that had oh the, the planet top? at the end yeah pretty huge yeah. either, that or, either that or I got lost yeah well, the Force is very confused after all that only just woke up. Since been asleep for a while. Yeah, yeah, just a while. So Luke's backstory is that he was originally training a group of Jedi. Um, Which uh, I, I still think is the Knights of Ren, and, and they turned on him. Yeah, and... Um, it's, it's too ben, predictable not to. Ben turned on him. And yeah. it sort of hints that he slaughtered all of them. But it's not explicitly stated. Yeah, he's really doing well in following Grandfather's footsteps. Oh, yeah. So it looks like the next movie is going to focus a lot around Luke. Speaking of Luke, he looked pissed. Oh, yeah. One of those sort of, how did you find me? What are you doing here? Looks. And how much would it have sucked if they finally worked out where the planet was and they realized it was one of the ten or so that was blown up by the... <laughs> that would have been so ironic. Yeah. And then you just see Luke's ghost come into it like... <sighs> really? And it's just like, really, Leia? Come on. <laughs> like, it took you that long to find me. Come on, I wasn't hiding that well. I wasn't hiding that hard. I'm also, so- it seems Leia's gotten stronger in the Force because soon she could sense Han's death. Yeah. Exactly. Well, she would have She would have taken come- some sort of nominal Force level training. That could come into play later because there's, there's another speculation rumor that Leia could have battle, battle meditation. So... Battle meditation was the thing the Yoda had. No, he did it. No, that was um, it was Vassal from Knights of the Old Republic. Oh, okay. Battle meditation is is where you can influence your allies to be to fight better. Oh, using okay. The force. Ah, I see. I I thought battle meditation was the thing that Yoda used in order to sort of remotely see all the different battles and stuff happening. No, 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 no. It's it's. To basically, it's basically like a, a force morale boost. Ah, fair enough. So yeah. Anyway, Force Awakens. I don't know, but it did. A lot of people in the cinema I was in loved it. Like there was cheering at the end of that movie, cheering and clapping and all sorts of craziness. Maybe it's because I'm as tired as I am. But yeah, I'd still give it a high score. Eight out of ten is pretty good. I re- I enjoyed. It. I'm happy. Yeah, it's. Uh, I'm happy just because it did flop. So it sets it sets a good foundation. Yeah, it did 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 set a very good foundation, substantially higher than the the prequels. So definitely looking forward to the next few. Yes. 
So anyway, that's and it. On. That's it for now. Just want to say, and on that note, it is four a.m. in the morning, and we are off to bed. Oh yeah. Now remember, people, four a.m. is when I normally wake up. It's not normally when I go to sleep. So. <laughs> anyway, guys, catch you next time. Bye, everyone.